so we talked a bit about the impact of a plant-based diet on cardiovascular health. What about cholesterol, inflammation, and blood pressure? Very important risk factor. So <clears throat> this study is an interesting uh, called study called the, looking at a portfolio diet. This is a direct comparison of the dietary portfolio of cholesterol-lowering foods. These are high-fiber uh, plant-based foods and comparing them with the statin in hypercholesterolemic patients or patients with high cholesterol. This is a small study. Um, and they put them into three groups in random order. And the control group, they didn't have portfolio, they didn't get statin. They lowered uh, their cholesterol by um, about 8%. The statin group, and it was a low dose of the statin, uh, they lowered their cholesterol by about 33%. And you can see the dietary portfolio arm came close at around 29%. So really an impressive drop in cholesterol simply from dietary change. And in this analysis about cholesterol out of Korea, this is the association between different types of plant-based diets and risk of, of dyslipidemia or abnormal cholesterol. It's a prospective cohort study, and they define dyslipidemia broadly. And they looked at about 4,500 Koreans and they had 14 years of follow-up. And for quintiles of plant-based diets, <clears throat> for a healthy plant-based diet, the highest quintile had a 37% lower hazard of developing dyslipidemia. And the unhealthy plant-based diet had about a 48% greater hazard of developing dyslipidemia. Um, also, LDL cholesterol or maybe ApoB containing particles can, that it can get, as we talked about, get oxidized in the uh, wall of the blood vessel where it can become particularly atherogenic and pro-inflammatory. And in an interesting cross-sectional analysis, looking at the LDL particles in vegetarians versus omnivores, those in vegetarians were more difficult to oxidize. <clears throat> CRP, is a measure, a blood measure of inflammation. It also can promote inflammation, but it is um, in a really interesting study um, out of NYU called Evade CAD. They randomized patients with stable coronary artery disease, stable blockages, not after a heart attack, but stable coronary disease. And they randomized them to the American Heart Association diet or a plant-based diet for eight weeks. And they found that the plant-based diet significantly lowered hemo uh, CRP more than the American Heart Association diet. Uh, blood pressure as well, the cardio study, the study in youth, the, with, in this analysis of 15 years of follow-up, eating more plant-based nutrition is associated with lower blood pressure as well as in um, cross-sectional analyses. And of course, there's the DASH diet, the dietary approach to stop hypertension diet, which is largely, but not completely plant-based. And when compared to a control, more Western style diet, significantly lowers blood pressure. Okay, so we talked a bit about the impact of a plant-based diet on cardiovascular health, on cholesterol, inflammation and blood pressure. What about weight? Well, so this is the Seventh-day Adventists um, study. The Seventh-day Adventists treat their body like a temple. Um, and even those eating a Western style diet among the Seventh-day Adventists tend to have a much a healthier Western style diet than the typical Western person. And they have a lot of healthy dietary patterns, um, including non vegetarians, semi vegetarians, pesco vegetarians, lacto ovo vegetarians, and vegans. And in this cross sectional analysis of about 60,000 people, the only group with a normal body mass index is the vegans. About normal is less than 20. This is a really cool randomized trial. This is really hard to do uh, by Dr. Turner, Turner McGreevy and colleagues. And it's a comparative effectiveness of plant-based diets for weight loss, a randomized controlled trial of five different diets. 
It's relatively small, six months. And they had five arms, vegan, vegetarian, pesco-vegetarian, semi-vegetarian, and omnivorous. And the vegan arm, after six months, lowered their weight by about seven and a half percent. That's a lot. And it was significantly less than the pesco vegetarians, the semi-vegetarians, the omnivores, but not statistically significant less, significantly less than the vegetarians. <laughs>